The families of two people killed in the San Bernardino terrorist attack plan to file court papers urging Apple to help investigators. Apple is fighting a court order to unlock the iPhone of one of the killers. Jeff Begays has found that there are many families anxious for a decision. Last April in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 29-year-old Brittany Mills, who was eight months pregnant, was shot when she answered her door. She and her unborn child were killed. Police suspect she knew her killer and her locked iPhone could contain vital clues. Police Lieutenant Johnny Dunham. The fact that her phone was encrypted and we are unable to obtain her password ha has thrown up a, a stumbling block. Since the California magistrate's ruling that Apple had to help the FBI break into the iPhone used by San Bernardino shooter Syed Farouk, there has been new focus on cases around the country involving locked smartphones. This is a very, very slippery slope. Ted Olson, Apple's attorney, used to represent the U.S. government before the Supreme Court. You think that part of the slippery slope here is that ultimately the government could develop a back door with Apple's help to listen in to eavesdrop on phone calls that are happening now. Yes, they will. Olson knows about terrorism. His wife Barbara was a passenger on the plane that crashed into the Pentagon on 9-11. He believes terror cases can lead to government overreach. Terrorists want to take away our civil liberties. They want to break down our system. They want us to overreact. They want us to say, well, privacy goes out the window. But the district attorney in Baton Rouge, Hiller Moore, says Brittany Mills' case is about catching a killer. The question is, uh, are you in a, to live in a civilized society, a free society, uh, and you want justice, uh, you have to give up some of your liberties. Uh, and this is one that I think is reasonable for you to give up. The FBI rejects the argument that the San Bernardino case would set a precedent. Scott Apple expects this case to ultimately end up at the Supreme Court.